Pearl Tutorial Part 93 Arrays of Arrays We can create two dimensional arrays which gives us a different way to structure our data. Let's create an array. Now this is going to be a two dimensional array so we use our anonymous array composer so we're going to create three anonymous arrays inside this array with three fields each Okay, so we've got some names. What these people drive. And what they do for a job. Okay, so this is array 0, this is array 1, and this is array 2. So if we want to access a data item, Let's say we want to get Jim, that's array 0, data item 0. Jim, if we want to pull out what Sam does for job, which is quarry, 0, 1, array 2, data item 0, 1. Quarry. Another way you could create this array is like so. Okay, now let's loop through our two-dimensional array. So let's create a counter equals zero. Let's say for each line of the array, which means for each array of the array. Okay, so now inside our for each loop we create a new counter, so let's just call this one C and create another for each loop and this is for each field okay so another for each loop and then we increment the counter and we will print and 
let's put a new line. So we get Jim, Sam, Bob, car, truck, bicycle, chef, quarry, office. Okay, now let's create a three-dimensional array. So let's copy this down and give it some major alteration. Okay, so There's our basic outline. Let's add some more arrays. Let's say Jim is married to Jan, Sam's married to Sue, and Bob's married to Bev. We don't need that comma there. Now let's say Jan also drives a car, Sue drives a car, and Bev catches the bus. Comma here. And let's say Jan does sewing, Susan marketing, and Bev's in design. Now let's print out something from our three dimensional array. Okay, so let's say print, this is 0, 1, and 2. Let's choose array 1. Let's choose array 0 of array 1. And let's choose item 2 from array 0 from array 1. And this should print out bicycle. So we can also create references to our multi-dimensional arrays. So we could create a reference, say, array 1, ref 1 equals array 0 and array 0 and then print an item. So ref1 equals array 0 an array 0 of array 0 and if we're going to print out item 1 of array 0 that should print out Sam. So let's run this. So if we want to pick out array 2 and array 1 of array 2 and print the second item design we do it like that so that's arrays of arrays